well hello there it's uh, once again we're back in the workshop on a Sunday and uh, what we have we're looking at today is I've gone and bought myself um, a little mechanical taco yeah it's in this box here it's a Smith's Venture ATH7 um, and it's in a very nice case as you can see uh, quite a well made case and uh, what we have inside if we open it up okay we have I'll just turn it around so that you can see it in the lid we have instructions it's an extremely very nice made box nice and soft inside and at the bottom here we have the tachometer itself three speeds um, 0 to 200 0 to 2000 and 0 to 20,000 um, all mechanical okay, pop that down and we also have uh, an extension shaft um, a, 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 a rubber wheel for checking uh, cutting and surface speeds on the lathe which is one of the things I wanted it for uh, we have a uh, two different drive couplings uh, one male one female for um, either uh, a shaft that's got a um, a, um, 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 a hole in it or a shaft that uh, doesn't you know um, not all shafts have holes in um, so uh, I bought this it was I've uh, been after one of these for a while and um, it just so happened there was a load of them for sale on eBay all of a sudden so I thought okay so we'll have a go and I got one uh, it only cost me £12.50 which is quite surprising considering how much these things must have cost in the first place um, there's no I don't think I can see there's no year of manufacture on there uh, at all um, but um, we must be going back uh, it's certainly pre-digital by a long long way um, uh, looks extremely well made it's actually quite heavy uh, but I've found a problem with it. Um, out of the, we've got the three speeds. Let's just hold it down there so that you guys can see it. We put it on a slower speed and we turn that. Yeah. Run that. Uh, yeah, 0 to 200. Get it out the glare of the lights. 0 to 200. And it works fine, doesn't it? Uh, 0 to 20,000. Uh, it possibly won't show up on here. Let's put the. Put the wheel on and see if we can spin it a bit more. Yeah. The not twenty thousand seems to work fine, but that doesn't seem to work at all. Um, bit of a bugger because that's the range I wanted it for. Because uh, most of my stuff I usually tend to work uh, on the lathe. Um, turning stuff anywhere between um, sort of a, a 130 rpm to uh, 1800 rpm um, so um, so that's a bit of a pain so what I'm going to do um, the thing is it's quite old and it was only £12.50 uh, so it's obviously been apart before because there's a screw missing so I shall take it apart because I'm interested in actually to see how it works so we'll do a, a little bit of a tear down on this um, and um, we'll strip it down find out why that doesn't work uh, obviously some things come adrift in the gearbox because there must be a gearbox in there because it's all mechanically linked and when we turn to the 200 you can actually hear the gears whirling around inside so, uh, so we'll strip that apart now it's only two screws to take this front cover off so pop that back in the middle and we'll strip it apart and uh, we'll see see what makes it tick <laughs> 